I will talk to you guys. When will I talk to you guys? Probably after meetings on my way to work. Z, I see you. Ah! <laughs>
Okay, so just got done eating breakfast for an omelet, eating some tots. Very, very good breakfast. Um, I'm gonna go back to the dorm and read my finish reading, do my Bible reading. I have, I think, two more chapters left in Joshua because I'm reading through the first five chapters of Joshua. Then I'll give you guys the verse of the day. Holy crap, that sun's bright. Ugh, it's not normally bright here. Oh gosh, I'm probably blown out to all smithereens because I'm quite midterm went well. I know you guys saw me have a good reaction to that, but that's good signs for my grade in that class. That class, I think I'm, I'm sitting pretty in that accounting. Accounting is time consuming, but honestly really quite simple. So I'm happy about that, but I will uh, talk to you guys after I do my Bible reading. You might get a little time lapse of me doing my reading, but Bible reading, get that done. I'll talk to you about the verse that stood out to me and then I will uh, shower and get ready. And then you guys will go to the fit check. So, I kind of wanted to hit on a verse that wasn't in uh, first, first um, Joshua, but couldn't really find one because it's history. So it's primarily just talking to, talking about what happened and all that. And so I feel like when reading Joshua, Joshua one always has stuck out to me. I've read it countless times, just just specifically Joshua one and. Something interesting that I feel like gets left out a lot is like a lot of people will quote Joshua 1 9 which is the have I not commanded you be strong and courageous do not be fright do not be frightened and do not be dismayed for, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go and what people don't realize if you have if you don't read the context or read what before that God says be strong and courageous like multiple times and he says it three or two or three or three one two he says it, he says it uh, he says it two times before he says have I not commanded you be strong and courageous and then he says it again later in the chapter I think he finishes with only be strong and courageous the the end of, of chapter one of Joshua ends with only be strong and courageous and I think Joshua 1 9 overshadowed Joshua 1 8 which is a fantastic verse because Joshua 1 8 is um this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth but you shall meditate on it day and night so so that you may be careful to do according to all that is written in it for then you will make your way prosperous and then you will have good success and a lot of james 122 which is do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourself do what it says and i just think that those two verses are very important to think about because it's not just it's not just knowing knowing the ver the verses and being able to speak it. It's but it's meditating on it. Meditating on it is very different than just reading it. And I've I've learned that, and it's taken me time to learn that and understand that. And yeah, meditating on it is 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 just different. And I'm and I'm learning to to meditate on it on uh on the word versus just kind of reading it and being like cool check the box. It's it's very much has to be intentional. Um yeah. So the two verses, the verse, the verses of the day that I felt stood out most was Joshua 1, 8 through 9. And those are the verses. Um, yeah, I've, I've, a lot of people have broken down Joshua 1, 9. It's a very common, very um, popular verse that a lot of people love. And I know a lot of people who it is their life verse. That I think, I think something I actually find more now, more important now, is the do not be dismayed for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. So... Just remember that, and I think that's a very that's something I will leave you guys on for this for this uh, little uh, um, Red's Bible Zone. I don't know the, uh, they're, they're the Red Zone Bible Edition. I don't know something. I'll I'll find a name for it. It's it's still in the framework, but I'll find something for it. But yeah, do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. So now I'm gonna take a shower and get ready for class. I will see you guys after I shower and get uh, fitted up. Granted, I might be unsure as to whether or not I'll be, I'll be, uh, this will be a nicer dress day or if this will be a I'm in sweatpants day. We'll see. We'll see. See how I feel after the shower. Okay, so fit. Here's the fit. We got my uh, my, uh, my 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 2008 NFC Champions shirt. I got my jeans, my like lighter denim jeans, and then my club seats. Now, this fit kind of gets ruined with the hoodie because I like the oversized look, but 
it is what it is. So that's the fit for today, and I have five minutes to get to class. So I'm going to be on time, so I'm going to leave. I'm not going to talk to you on the way. I might shoot a little bit of B-roll, but I'm going to dip and go get to class. So I will talk to you guys after class, which I will update you on some stuff I'm doing later tonight. Going this way. <laughs> what are you doing? You're not following me. That's, yes, I, think, I am. I think following me is worse than <laughs> actually vlogging. <laughs> Wait, she's filming me. I don't know. I have a cameraman. I'm just, now, I'm just your, I'm just your <laughs> camera guy now. My camera guy. Are you at least pointing it at me? <laughs> yeah, it's your I'm, face. I'm, I'm in the shot. Oh gosh. Just points it really close. Okay, this is this is this is getting this is getting excessive right no, now. No, this is fantastic. Oh my God. Can, if you like go big, can you like hire me? Hire? <laughs> I'll be your camera guy for reals, you're, man. You're, I, but I thought you wanted to be at home and have many children. No, <laughs> we should make one of those packs. <laughs> no, we're not making that. Me, Red. What's up, gingers? Hannah, um, how do you end up doing? Yeah. So. Well, how'd you do? I got a ninety-one. Oh, on the accounting? Yeah. 95. No, so just got done with P-Bomb. Gonna have, I'm gonna just gonna work on editing the video. And then after that, after that Christian, do after Christian Doctrine, I'm going to take a 30 minute nap and then I'm gonna work on my course because I need to set up the classes I'm gonna take for next semester and kind of plan out my uh, future courses. So yes, that is what I plan to do. What? You ever have a dream when you, uh, when you, and you have a dream when you feel like, and then when you can, and you can do, and you feel like, and when you can do anything. Indeed, indeed, I have done that. Indeed, I have. Indeed. Okay, I'll talk to you guys after I'm done editing, probably after Christian Doctrine. So. Boys be singing, let's be jolly. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Okay, so. I just got done with Christian Doctrine. Focus on my face. There we go. Just got done with Christian Doctrine. I freaking love that class. That class is by far my favorite class this semester. Um, so, with that being said, I am going to, for the 11 minutes, my, my chicken is cooking. I am going to work on... Oh, I did drop a nugget. That sucks. Um... I, 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 oh no, um, our table. Why it's an exit, okay. So, just got out with your job. Freaking love that class. I am now going to work on editing a bit. So I'm gonna try to get, uh, the, I'm gonna tr try to get as much of this, of yesterday's video done as I can. Because I work tonight from, I'm working tonight, I'm working the volleyball game because I work for athletics at the school. So I have the opportunity to work tonight, which I'm excited about. And I'm not gonna take a nap, I'm feeling, Great, I think I'm at a pretty high level and I shouldn't be too tired if I need to. I can just, I might chuck, I might put, I might drink a little more Mio. <laughs> you, you just look ominous in the background right now. So, but I'm going to edit this video, I'm going to edit the rest of the video and then I will talk to you guys, when will I talk to you guys? Probably after meetings on my way to work. Z, I see you. Ah! <laughs> you just, cut just cut the video. Just cut the video, just the, ah! <laughs> okay, well, I'll talk to you guys uh, in a bit. Definitely didn't. All right, so I finished editing the video. It's, it's uh, uploading, I just need to post. I'm gonna post it tonight, but after meetings right now, I'm gonna have work and then um, I will talk to you guys probably after work once I officially upload the video. All right. So work was great. I I ended up kind of just being, I helped set up and then I kind of just be, was there as a filler. So if somebody needed something things like that, I kind of just sat there. So I got to watch the game. But the game went to five sets. Oh no, no. We beat their team one time in 2019 and we haven't beaten them since 2008 before that. So it's one win against them in 2019. It went to, it went to five sets and we lost in the fifth set, I believe 14 to 16. Just absolute heartbreak. Actually, it might have been 15 to 16. I think it might have been 15 to 17. But either way, it's just absolute heartbreaker. And so with that, it just it sucked. But I'm going to edit my thumbnail, post the video, and then I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to drink my chocolate milk and then go to bed. Um, so, yeah, that's the end of episode three of the framework. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow.
in the morning before practice as I do my reading. So, see you.